Hello, in this video we're going to do a constrained revenue maximization problem. A firm uses one input, X, to produce two different outputs, good one and good two. This production relation is given by the following. Input X, the quantity of input X, equals the output of good one squared plus the output of good two squared. The firm sells good one at $12 per unit and good two at $4 per unit. The firm wants to maximize revenue, but is constrained. It is limited to using only 90 units of input X. We want to solve for the revenue maximizing levels of good one and good two. Let's create the revenue function. So the revenue here is the price of good one times the output of good one plus the price of good two times the output of good two. And now I'll substitute 12 and four in for those prices. And here's what our constraint looks like. We have 90 units of input X, which equals the output of good one squared plus the output of good two squared. Rewriting those key equations, I'm going to take this constraint now and I'm going to solve it for the output of good two. So we're going to solve for Q subscript two. Moving some things around and now taking the square root of both sides leaves us with this expression. Now I'm going to do a substitution. I'm going to look at our revenue function and I'm going to replace the Q subscript 2 with what we have on the right hand side here of this equation. So making that substitution into the revenue function. Now it's time to maximize. We're going to take the derivative of this revenue function with respect to the output of good 1. So the derivative of 12 Q subscript 1 is 12. The derivative of this second term, we need to do a few things here. We're going to take the exponent, this 1 half, and bring it down in front. Then we're going to subtract 1 from that exponent, so 1 half minus 1. And then we're going to take the derivative of what's in parentheses here, which will be minus 2 Q subscript 1, and that's going to be all multiplied through. We're setting equal to zero because we're maximizing. So simplifying here a little bit, one half times four is two, and that two multiplied by minus two Q subscript one is where that minus four Q subscript one is coming from. Now just moving some things around, following the rules of exponents, we're gonna take what's in parentheses and move that into the denominator. And now we're gonna square both sides. So squaring everything here leaves us with this result. And now cross multiplying, simplifying some more. Simplifying a little bit more brings us to this step, dividing through by 160. And now taking the square root of both sides, the square root of 81 is nine. And now to get the output of good two, we're gonna take that nine and plug it into our constraint. So where we have this Q subscript one, we're replacing at what nine, and the output of good two here is going to be three. So the revenue maximizing levels of output are as follows, nine units of good one and three units of good two. And the revenue at that level of output is $120. Uh, here I made a table that shows various combinations of the two goods that can be produced from 90 units of an input. So again, we're constrained to use 90 units of the input. And using our constraint here and solving it like we did earlier for the output of good 2, I just replaced uh, this Q subscript 1 with these various numbers here in this column here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, to get the corresponding level of output for good 2 and then the corresponding level of revenue. And here we can see that revenue does seem to be uh, maximized here at nine units of good one and three units of good two. Producing a little bit less of good one leads to lower revenue. Producing a little bit more of good one leads to also a little bit uh, lower revenue. All right, that is my example.